Hey, it's Ben Meyer with Team Home Hero at EXP Realty, and I'm out here on the west side of Wichita, giving you an idea of what a west side listing uh, is like. So this is my listing at 1239 North Wood that we currently have under contract, but it's vacant. I'm gonna just do a little walkthrough to give you an idea of what a west Wichita home is like, uh, specifically in the West Link subdivision on the west side of Wichita. It's on 13th and Tyler. Um, and I'll rattle off some stats for you here in a sec, but I just want to give you an idea of kind of what a west side Wichita home is like. Um, before we get into all that stuff, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all those fun things that help uh, grow the channel for people looking to move to Wichita, relocate to Wichita. Um, in this video walkthrough, we'll give you an idea too of what it's like to work with us uh, when we do video walkthroughs with people that are looking to like relocate from out of state, can't necessarily see the house in person, but we can go through and do a video walkthrough for you, um, do a construct. And that's where my construction background comes in comes in because we're not just looking at how pretty it is but fully evaluating like everything that goes on uh, with the property get plenty of calls do this plenty of times uh, it's kind of our niche that we do is relocation buyers moving to wichita making a good purchase decision but let me go ahead and flip the camera around so here's the front of the house and as you can see it's winter time fall slash winter time here so we do get a good amount of leaves uh, if they're not raked up which this house is vacant owners aren't living there right now so that's kind of why it's a little bit got more leaves but this gives you an idea of the neighborhood and what it's kind of like pretty quiet calm neighborhood this is on a sunday let them shooting just to give you an idea of what wichita west wichita neighborhoods are like and this house so it's a four bedroom two bath a two-car garage it's 2015 square feet um, about 1100 something up and then another nine or 11, another thousand square feet down um, to give you an idea it is kind of a it's a quad level we'll go ahead and walk it to give you an idea i'm not quite sure the age of the roof but it's fairly newer that's one of the big major ticket items we're checking out when we look at these um, in person is the roof the foundation all the major mechanicals what are all the big potential problems which is where the construction background comes in for evaluating you know how well built are these how much of a problem are you going to see down the road right when you walk in you have a living room area to the left um, all newer flooring that they've put in uh, white trim pretty neutral color painted walls, tile throughout the kitchen, and then you go upstairs to the bedrooms and downstairs to more living room space. So it is a little bit more sectioned off so you can have different areas of your home. Recently, the cabinets have all been redone with granite countertops. Uh, no fridge in the space right now um, since they're moving. Uh, pretty good sized backyard with a deck and an additional patio area out there. Go ahead and just go out back. Give me an idea of how close like the neighbors are. And again, this is a pretty typical west side Wichita neighborhood. Just to give you a feel for what it's like. There's some kids playing in the next yard. Um, same thing like when we look at houses like this on video walkthrough, we'll come through and evaluate everything that the pictures may not see. Um, like the siding on the back, to make sure it's all in good shape. You know, seeing some of those more nitty gritty details that you don't always necessarily, <laughs> you don't always necessarily see, um, you know, from the pictures. You get a fine eye on it, on everything. So, anyway, that's the whole exterior of the home, front and the back. We'll go back inside and check out the rest. The AC unit it looks pretty good size for the home and in good shape. You know, obviously we'll get an inspection and have everything tested, like the AC, the furnace, hot water heater, all those things we can visually inspect right now, but um, I can't test anything since I've got to be a neutral third party. One thing they don't typically show you in the pictures either is like the garage space. Obviously that makes a difference. Of, Make sure your vehicles can fit in because like this one's got that little extra lip that's raised up about four inches so you want to make sure your vehicle could all fully fit in there and everything but pretty good size two car oversized garage again pretty typical west side home i should say this is a pretty 
good typical west side home um, we had this one on the market for about 36 days um, got it sold recently it's going to close here fairly soon can't i can't speak on price because of advertising laws and the way our regulations are set up around here unfortunately um, We'll go upstairs first. So there's three bedrooms, one bath upstairs, and then there's another bedroom, another bath uh, downstairs. But right to the left is your bathroom space. You got a good amount of cabinets, fairly newer fixtures, and updating, all very well taken care of, tile floors, um, full tub and surround. Wood windows, but you do have storm windows on them. So bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. Gives you the idea of them all. Uh, this would be considered kind of a starter home in the Wichita area. To give you an idea of what a starter home in Wichita would be like. Unfortunately, I can't discuss price on this one for you because of our advertising guidelines so I wish I could tell you but I can't if you go look up 1239 wood in Wichita Kansas you'll be able to figure out price but I just I can't say it on here because of our advertising guidelines I can discuss all the things that can't change like price or other than price so like address square footage all those things I just can't tell you price on it unfortunately but if we we're doing a video walkthrough, I could tell you price and talk to you about pricing and comps and all those other things that go with it. That's upstairs. Go downstairs if you're not too dizzy by now. So we're going downstairs into the second living room space. It's all carpet. It does have an additional sump pump with the battery backup in there, is what that is. If you're not familiar with Kansas, that's something we need to have given our heavy rains and heavy clay soils that can potentially have water get in the basement because that's one of the big things we want to look out for is solid foundations that aren't moving, that aren't leaking. It's a Kansas thing you gotta kind of be worried about. Um, but to the left there, you go downstairs that we'll look at here in a sec, but you have another full bath here with the shower set up, full vanity and toilet, and tile on there as well. Another full bedroom use it as an office space depending on how you wanted to use it bedroom what the closet and then again this house just keeps going downstairs again you have another finished living space that they kind of use as a craft room with some additional desks and this functional area just daylight windows you can't consider this another bedroom but it is more finished square footage down here all fairly well done as far as the finishes and remodel of it all. Um, your washer and dryer would go down here. Looks like a fairly newer uh, electric panel, so that's a good sign. That's another major thing that we want to evaluate while we're here. Uh, we don't really see any large cracks or movement on the foundation. Doesn't smell wet down here. Uh, we got some more storage space for you know not having square fin finished square footage, so you can have places to store things. Hot water heater looks fairly newer. The flue's kind of off a little bit. That needs to go there. And then furnace doesn't look ancient, but as long as they're running, that's where you'll get a home warranty to make sure all those are evaluated. So um, that pretty much concludes the tour of a pretty typical West Side home in the West Link subdivision off of 13th and Tyler in West Wichita. Hopefully that helps you get to know Wichita a little bit more and what it's like um you know feel free to check out any of my other videos on wichita appreciate you watching that's the rest that's the finish of the tour on everything you know if i could be help of you to move to wichita kansas and consider any other houses or any other tours like this please let me know um, follow the link down below to follow either our landing page or check out our website but it should have plenty of ways to have you reach us access us so that we can Give you the same type of tour and service so you can get to know Wichita and potentially move in here. And hopefully we can be your agent in doing so. But we'll hopefully talk to you soon. See ya.